Hey YouTubers, I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, RF modulators. This is a uh, somewhat cheap model. It's called the uh, Global Box Bluetooth Transmitter Car Kit. Basically how it works is you plug it into your cigarette lighter and there's a, a spot for you to plug in either an SD card or a USB. Oh, you really can't see that, but there's a spot for a SD card or a spot for a uh, USB uh, unit and you just plug in your your flash drive, your thumb drive, whatever you call it, uh, and it'll play the music that's on that drive. So you just go get your MP3s and uh, and plug them in. Uh, this one is currently set to channel 88.1, although you can adjust that using these A and B's buttons here on the side. You can adjust up and down. Uh, this one pairs with Bluetooth, so you can answer the phone by pushing the button. Somewhat uh, nearly invisible because of how small it is. Hold on. How small it is, there's a uh, play and stop. The well, story of my life is always focus. All right, play and stop. Little tiny button just to the left there. Um, my finger right in front of it now. All right. Anyway, so this is what comes in the kit. It's twelve bucks. Twelve bucks to have Bluetooth capability on your from your stream from your phone. So if you've got music on your phone or you've got um, here's my crappy broken down flash drive that I use to play my music. <laughs> it's practically falling out of its shell. Anyway, um, just plug it in the bottom. Set your radio to eighty-eight point one. And, uh, and then play the music. It gets played in the order that you put it on the machine or on the uh, flash drive. So if you, uh, the modified date of the file. So as you put more files on, uh, it changes what number they represent. So you can use this handy dandy, um, poorly focused uh, remote. It's, it's, got a, uh, it's got a sensor there at the top and you, you basically just point it in the general direction of this unit. It's got an LED screen uh, that shows up. Uh, I'll show you once I plug it in, but but uh, I can change the song by using the, the buttons here. I can also turn uh, up and down volume. I can answer the phone. I can, uh, I can choose which track I want to listen to. That's the one thing I noticed about it that I, I don't know if I like it or not, especially with like podcasts and stuff like that being recorded on, on the, uh, Putting on them on your uh, your flash drive. Uh, the last thing you put on is song number one. Uh, so if you really like it and you just added it, that's great because it's going to show up and be the song that, that that you like. Anyway, let me throw this all in the car and uh, and let's uh, let's take a listen. All right, here it is with everything plugged in. Uh, you know, if I went with a smaller uh, USB flash drive, you know, it probably wouldn't stick out as much. I, I, I don't really care because it was cheap, and uh, I already had the flash drive, so it was free, really. But I probably could have gone with something that, you know, the new ones, they they just barely poke out the edge of the uh, USB slot, and so that would be less noticeable. But So if you're someone who cares about that kind of thing, you might... Uh, consider buying a flash drive to, to fit the space. All right, so everything's off. I'm going to just turn the auxiliary on, on my in my car here. I love this. USB Mojo. USB Mojo. That immediately goes to play. Just... <coughs> I'm allergic to my car. All right, so as you can see, well, I'm just going to move this uh, flashlight away so you can see a little bit better. The uh, the screen's not bad. Uh, you can see everything in it uh, in the dark. It's not dark. It's uh, where's my video coming from? There we go. Here's all my here's all my settings. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we're playing. Song number 67, and uh, we're tuned to 88.1, which uh, 
Right, that's what that's what's showing up on my radio dial. So I'm uh, I'm playing the song, and and uh, if I want to play it again, I can just push a button. So it's very much uh, very user friendly, and uh, I love the mispronounced module right at the beginning. Um, like I mentioned, uh, you can pair it up with your phone. This button that's not focusing. Uh, has a phone on the front of it, and and uh, when you when you press that button after getting a phone call, uh, it'll you can set it to auto answer, or you can press the button to and then speak, uh, you know, call uh, mom or something like that, and it will uh, it will actually do it. So the sounds really good, uh, it was as good as your MP3, and uh, so uh, that gives you uh, the ability to to play. I have 200 songs on this uh, USB stick. It's it's not very big, and uh, it lets me rock out uh, for a long time. So this is cheap. Uh, it, it's not touchscreen, and it's not uh, super duper cool feature. But if you just want to be able to play music off of your phone via Bluetooth, done for like 12 bucks. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description that gives you uh, the details of, of how to get something like that. But um, they make it so that, that you can pair your phone up or just play tunes off of a, a, a storage medium that you have already set up. So I really like that. that that's really handy for me to be able to do podcasts or, or just music in general and, and have a big stash. If I was doing like a road trip, I wouldn't need to bring like my laptop to play music, uh, or even as another device, I could use my phone and just stream it. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll catch you next time.